My name is Daniel Ames. I'm a professor in the management division uh, and I teach uh, topics like leadership and negotiations to our MBA students and uh, a number of programs in our executive education program. Uh, my research, I'm, by training I'm a social psychologist and a lot of my research revolves around uh, interpersonal relations. So how people read and misread themselves and the people around them and how that affects the work that we do and the relationships we have and the outcomes we get. When people get conflict right, when they assert themselves effectively, part of that suggests that they're reading the people around them well. And when conflict falls apart, uh, when people assert themselves too much or too little, often what's at the heart of that is an inability to understand what the people around us are thinking or wanting or feeling. So for me, there's this, I take a lot of delight in this very basic fundamental question about human nature. How do we figure out what's going on in the minds of the people around us? And I'm fascinated as a, as a teacher and a researcher now in seeing how that comes to life inside of things like conflict and negotiation. One of the things my research has taught me is just how important this challenge of pushing hard enough really is for people's development. So I spend a considerable amount of time in the classes I teach, whether it's about leadership or decision making or negotiations, focusing on this challenge and trying to help students think through what are some good practices, what are some pitfalls to avoid. One of the things that we know from our research is people often don't understand how others see them inside of a conflict, in a negotiation, when they're pushing up or when they're giving in. So a lot of what I've done in the, the courses that I teach and the workshops that I, that I teach is try to bring people into contact with some feedback. So we'll have people work through a negotiation, have people work through a conflict, and then stop and do something that we usually don't get to do in the real world, which is talk to each other about what just happened. We sort of pull back the curtain and you get an opportunity to hear from a counterpart, you could have pushed a lot harder or you really crossed the line. You should have eased up a little bit more. So a lot of my teaching revolves around that hands-on practice coupled with a chance to get feedback and then reflect on that. It's something we don't often get a chance to do in the real world, in our real lives, but I found in, in teaching it's tremendously impactful for students. I, I often feel like I don't have to then spell out every step of here's what you should stop doing and here's what you should be doing more of. I find that smart, talented, motivated people who want to become more effective, when they get that feedback, when I help them get in an environment where they can get this feedback, that they naturally are able to calibrate their behavior and make better choices without a lot of hand-holding.